Welcome back to this video tutorial. In this video, we can dis uh, discuss about cash replacement algorithm. Okay. When a new clock is to be brought into the cash and all the position that it may occupy are full, the cash controller must decide which of the old blocks to overwrite or replace. That means whenever a processor generated memory access request and the requested memory word is not present in the cache memory and the locations possible for that uh, particular requested memory word is not or memory word or the block which contain the memory word is not now uh, free in the cache memory in, start, in that situation the cache controller want to perform certain replacement uh, operation in order to perform that replacement operation we have certain uh, rules uh, these rules are known as the replacement algorithm in case of before moving to the algorithm we can consider the previous mapping functions in case of direct mapping replacement strategy is trivial that means all the blocks are predetermined or mapped into a predefined cache memory location so if that location is not free we can remove the block which is present in that uh, particular location so that in case of direct mapping no separate uh, replacement algorithm is needed because pos position of each of the memory block is predetermined in uh, the position of each of the main memory block the position in the cache memory for each of the main memory block is predetermined so that replacement no separate replacement strategy is needed in case of direct mapping map caching mechanism okay in case of associative and set associative caches the memory block can be placed to anywhere so uh, if the uh, cache memory is completely full and requesting for a new block from the memory in such situation we want to select one block from the cache memory one among the different blocks from the cache memory for the replacement so in order to choose one among different cache blocks we want certain algorithm okay we have such algorithm uh, that is the LRU replacement algorithm that is least recently used block from the cache memory is chosen for replacement that is LRU least recently used that is the block which is not used for a long period of time that is taken for this replacement or uh, replacement with new block this least recently used principle is used in order to satisfy the locality of preference property which is the basis of cache memory implementation okay so uh, we have to follow to use the LRU algorithm the cache controller must track references uh, references to all the blocks as computation proceeds the cache man, the controller must always references the cache blocks in order to identify which are uh, not used for a long period of time okay so uh, we can explain this algorithm the LRU algorithm with respect to a four way set associated cache block it is required to track the LRU block of a four block set that means four way set associative mechanism okay four block set in a set associative cache means here it follows a four way set associative that means each block in the cache contains four different cache blocks each set in the cache contains four different cache blocks each set contains four different cache blocks here a 2 bit counter can be used for each block inside the set we have four different blocks and block is associated with a 2 bit counter information okay each block inside the set is associated with a 2 bit counter like this here consider suppose this is a cache memory here we have two set and this set are four set as four way set associative that means each set contains four different cache blocks or cache lines okay and these cache lines or blocks are associated with a two bit counter information suppose a cache hit occurs cache hit means the requested memory word or the block contains the requested memory word is now present in the cache memory somewhere in the cache memory when a hit occurs the counter of the block that is referenced is set to zero 
counted with a value originally lower than the reference to 1 are incremented by 1 and all others remains unchanged. These two steps want to perform in case of a cash gate. So for uh, understanding consider this one suppose uh, B0 with counter value 2, B1 with 2, B2 with 2, B3 with 1. Okay so if the memory is requested so uh, if a processor is requesting a memory word which is present in B0. Okay so make the value of counter value of B0 as C. And also consider the counter value associated with all the blocks present in the set. Here B1 with counter value 2 now, B2 with counter value 2 now and B3 with value 1. So all the blocks counter value having counter value less than the original counter value of this B0 want to increment by 1. Here B3 only contains a counter value 1 which is the original counter value of B0 which is less than the original counter value of B0. Okay, B0 is the actually referenced block. Its original counter value is 2 and here after referencing set it as 0. So consider the counter value associated with all other 3 blocks present in the same set. Here it is 2, here it is 2 and here it is 1. Here only for this B3 block having a counter value 1 which is less than the counter value of block B0. See, so we want to increment the counter value so make it as 2 here and keep all other counter values of all other block as it is. So keep the counter values of B1 and B2 as it is. Here the counter value of B3 is less than the original counter value of B0. So want to increment this value by 1. This is the steps want to perform in case of cache hit. In case of cache miss, when a miss occurs and the set is not full, the counter associated with the new block loaded from the main memory is set to 0 and the values of all other counters are incremented by 1. Okay. In case of a cache miss, cache miss means the requested memory word is not currently present in the uh, cache memory. In such situation we want to consider two other cases. Cache miss with cache memory is not full. Cache miss with cache memory is full. When a miss occurs and the set is not full, cache memory is not full means we have some other uh, space. That is here we have, this is a situation cache, uh, 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 suppose um, requesting a block which will place, uh, requesting a memory block which will place in set S1. Here it is completely free. So this is the first case. This is like the first case. Uh, requesting a memory board which is not present currently in the cache memory but we have the space in the memory for placing a new block from the main memory. In such situation place the new block to the uh, cache memory from uh, to an exact position and set its counter value as 0 and all the values of all other counters are incremented by 1. All the values of all other counters are incremented by 1. So for the uh, for the explanation consider this one. Suppose here we have no block. Okay. Uh, and uh, processor is now requesting for a particular block which we want to map into a set S0. So search in S0. Here we have one place for placing a new block. So we can place the requesting um, block. Suppose that block is B4. So we can place the B4 here and set its counter value as C. Okay. Then after setting or placing the uh, block here in this uh, set and set its counter value as 0, we want to increment all the remaining counter value by 1. Okay, these are the two operations want to perform in case of a cache miss with the cache memory is not full. But this is the situation cache miss occurs and the set is completely full. The block with counter value 3 is removed and the no, uh, new block is put into its place and the counter is set to 0. This is simple case. When a cache miss occurs and the set is full, cache miss occurs and the set is full, 
the counter the block with counter value 3 the maximum counter value 3 is removed from the cash uh, set and new block is put in that place and the set is counter value as 0 okay the other three block counters are incremented by 1 okay consider the same situation here uh, suppose uh, we want to place a new block B5 inside this set S0 but this S0 is now completely full. Okay, then what we want to perform? We want to remove a block with counter value 3 from the set. So remove this one and this one. Okay, then place the new block that is B5 here and set its counter value as 0. The other three blocks counters are incremented by 1. Here we have now no block. So just uh, neglect it. Here see we want to increment this value. So now it become 1 and this become 3. Okay. These are the operation takes place while performing a least recently used algorithm with a 4-way set associative cache mechanism. Okay. Thank you.